Opulence by Charles Hoy Fort, Part 2, Chapter 16b. I am not listing all the unknowns of the period, perhaps the object reported by John H. Tice of St. Louis, Missouri, September 15, 1859, should not be included. Mr. Tice was said not to be trustworthy, but who has any way of knowing? However, I am listing enough of these observations to make me feel like a translated European of some centuries ago, relatively to a wider existence, lands that may be the San Salvadors, Greenlands, Madagascars, Cubas, Australias of extra geography, all of them said to have crossed the sun, whereas the sun may have moved behind some of them. January 29, 1860, a known object of planetary size, reported from London, by Russell and three other observers, Nature, Volume 15, page 505, Summer of 1860, see Scientific American, Volume 35, page 340, for an account, by Richard Covington, of an object, that without a telescope, he saw crossing the sun. An unknown world, reported by Loomis, of Manchester, March 20th, 1862, Monthly Notices, Volume 22, page 232, a newspaper account of an object that was seen crossing the sun, February 12th, 1864, by Samuel Beswick, of New York, Astronomical Register, Volume 2, page 161, a known that was seen March 8th, 1865, at Constantinople, Loani Scientific et Industrial. 1865 page 16 the known cometic objects that were seen November 4th 9th and 18th 1865 monthly notices volume 26 page 242 most of these unknowns were seen in the daytime several reflections arise how can there be stationary regions over Irkutsk Comrie and Birmingham and never obscure the stars or never be seen to obscure the stars the heresy that seems too radical for me is that they may be beyond nearby stars. A more reasonable idea is that if night watchmen and policemen and other persons who do stay awake nights should be given telescopes, something might be found out. Something else that one thinks of is that if so many unknowns have been seen crossing the sun or crossed by the sun, others not so revealed must exist in great numbers, and that instead of being virtually blank, space must be archipelagoic. Something that was seen at night, observer not an astronomer. November 6th, 1866, an account in the London Times. January 2nd, 1867, by Senator D. von Blank, of the British Consulate, at Cartagena, United States, Columbia, of a luminous object that moved in the sky. It was of the magnitude, color, and brilliance of a ship's red light, as seen at a distance of 200 yards. The object was visible three minutes, and then disappeared behind buildings. Defon Blank went to an open space to look for it, but did not see it again.